Disney has shaped the childhoods of millions of people around the world and continues to do so to this day. Over the years, the company has released films that grew to become timeless classics, appealing to all moviegoers alike and inspiring them to race to buy tickets for any new release. Among the movies that probably come to mind when thinking of Disney classics are The Lion King, Pinocchio, and Snow White, and The Seven Dwarves, to name just a few of the many memorable titles that comprise its catalog. In the 1990s, the company built on the success of its animated films and started producing direct-to-video movies. These low-budget productions mostly served as prequels or sequels to its biggest movie hits, and despite not getting rave reviews from critics, they proved to be successful with younger audiences, as they allowed them to see their favorite characters in new adventures. The direct-to-video Disney movies never quite matched the success of the company's classic films, that's for sure. Still, some of them are still worth revisiting today. Here are 10 we hope you are inspired to check out, and tell us if you agree or disagree in the comments. At number 10, an extremely goofy movie, which released direct-to-video in 2000. 1995 marked the premiere of A Goofy Movie, a film that did not perform well at the box office, but still became a hit with its home media release. Capitalizing on its popularity with audiences, Disney released an extremely goofy movie, a direct-to-video sequel released five years later. It features Max Goof as he leaves his father's home to pursue a college career. But this young man's departure in search of new experiences turns Goofy's life upside down, to the point of making him lose his job. Thus, he decides to follow in his son's footsteps and enroll in the same university in hopes of getting a better job, thereby becoming Max's biggest nightmare. An extremely goofy movie received even better reviews than a goofy movie, with praise for its engaging family-friendly story, charming characters, and soundtrack. But arguably, the most outstanding element of the film is the positive portrayal of a father-son relationship and how it evolves. Number 9. Mickey, Donald, Goofy, The Three Musketeers. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are arguably three of the most famous characters in Disney history. In 2004, they starred in The Three Musketeers, a film directed by Donovan Cook. In this direct-to-video production, inspired by various film adaptations of Alexander Dumas's eponymous novel, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are street urchins whose greatest dream comes true when Captain Pete hires them as musketeers on a mission to protect Princess Minnie Mouse. Unbeknownst to the trio, Pete's intentions are far from good as he only employs them because he seeks to seize the throne without having to deal with truly skilled musketeers. Disney's version of The Three Musketeers is a fun take on a literary classic starring all-time popular characters, thus making it a very appealing choice for the whole family to enjoy. This movie earned rave reviews for its detailed animation, musical numbers, and its knack for adapting the original story while giving it a refreshing twist. Number 8. Aladdin and the King of Thieves was released direct-to-video in 1996. Aladdin and the King of Thieves became the second sequel to the popular Disney classic following the release of The Return of Jafar in 1994. Directed by Tad Stones, the film features Aladdin who is now about to marry Princess Jasmine. Having discovered that his missing father is alive and leading the 40 thieves, Aladdin invites him to live in the castle and away from the life of crime, although the man's obsession with a particular item will endanger this second chance at life. Aladdin is among the most popular films in Disney's repertoire, but its first sequel was not as successful. Fortunately, Aladdin and the King of Thieves reversed the fortunes of this film series and managed to establish itself as a production deemed better than its predecessor for its innovative story, new characters, and memorable soundtrack. No doubt, among the most notable elements of this direct-to-video film is Robin Williams' return as Genie, voicing this popular character for the last time in his career. Number 7. The Little Mermaid. Ariel's Beginning, which released direct-to-video in 2008. Ariel's Beginning, with Peggy Holmes as director, wraps up the trilogy of one of the company's most popular princesses. This film serves as a prequel to the 1989 classic, and follows the love story between King Triton and his wife, Queen Athena, which is foiled when a pirate attack claims her life. Grief-stricken, Triton bans music from Atlantica, prompting a young Ariel and some allies to embark on a defiant adventure to bring music back to the kingdom. As with Aladdin and the King of Thieves, the Little Mermaid Ariel's beginning proved to be a significantly better direct-to-video sequel than its predecessor. In addition, it allowed fans to learn a little more about the origins of Ariel and her family, giving them a deeper insight into the mermaid's life and motivations. Unlike other Disney straight-to-video sequels, this one was acclaimed for its animation quality, which was comparable to the original one. Number 6. The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Lion King II reached audiences in 1998 and expanded the universe introduced in the globally popular 1994 hit, The Lion King. This Daryl Rooney film, 
heavily inspired by William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, follows Kiara, Simba, and Nala's daughter, who falls in love with a young cub named Kovu. But there's a problem. Kovu belongs to a pride banished by Simba for being loyal to Scar, and the young lion's mother plans to seize every chance she gets to get revenge for it. Given the wild success The Lion King had in 1994, it's safe to say that the bar was set too high for any sequel. And while The Lion King the Second Simba's Pride didn't get the same reception as the original film, it did establish itself as one of Disney's best direct-to-video sequels, delivering a refreshing story that appealed to kids and adults alike. The film also featured most of the original cast, while introducing new characters that only enhanced this already popular cinematic universe. Before we move into the top five, a quick reminder that every Monday we like to dive deep into a top 10 list about something music or movie related. Today we're obviously covering our favorite Disney direct to movie hits and hope you are using it to load up your queue on Disney Plus right now. Perhaps you found some of our previous content interesting and are back for more. Or maybe this is your first time. Either way, we're glad you are here and hope you will consider dropping us a comment below, liking this video, or maybe even subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. Without further ado, here comes the top half of today's top 10. Number 5. Bambi 2, released in 2006. Over six decades after the premiere of Bambi came Bambi 2, directed by Brian Pimental, it serves as a midquel to the original production. This film is set in the wake of Bambi's mother's death and follows the young deer's attempts to win the approval of his strict father, the great prince of the forest. Bambi II introduced this lovable character to an entirely new audience with the help of a sweet story, brilliantly crafted animation, and a wonderful voice cast led by Alexander Gould and Patrick Stewart. The film went on to become one of the company's best direct-to-video sequels, and on top of the audience's fondness, it won an Annie Award for Best Animated Home Entertainment Production. Number 4. Lilo and Stitch 2. Stitch has a glitch which released direct-to-video in 2005. Stitch Has a Glitch became the third installment of the Disney franchise launched in 2002, following Stitch, the movie. This production by Michael Labash and Tony Leondis is set just after the events of the original Lilo and Stitch film. And in it, Stitch's home life with Lilo and her older sister is jeopardized when he becomes destructive again as a result of a malfunction that if not fixed in time, could potentially kill him. Lilo and Stitch is a Disney film loved by fans, and its first sequel failed greatly to please audiences. Lilo and Stitch 2, on the other hand, was deemed considerably better than the previous installment, mainly for featuring a tone that more closely resembled the original film. It received rave reviews for its heartwarming story, the work of its voice cast, and its amusing script. And just like Bambi 2, it also scored an Annie Award. Number 3. Cinderella 3. A Twist in Time, which released direct-to-video in 2007. Cinderella 3 wraps up the trilogy of one of Disney's most famous princesses. This production, directed by Frank Nissen, is set a year after the original film, and features Cinderella enjoying her happily ever after with the prince. But when Lady Tremaine manages to get her hands on the fairy godmother's magic wand and uses it to change the course of events and erase the prince's memories with Cinderella, the princess is left with no other choice but to set out on an adventure to reverse the spell. Cinderella the Three A Twist in Time is, for many, the best direct-to-video sequel produced by Disney. Unlike its predecessor film, it received critical and audience acclaim for delivering a story that puts a twist on the original movie aided by high-quality animation and excellent voice cast performances. The most lauded feature of this production is unquestionably the in-depth character development of Cinderella, Anastasia, and the Prince. Number 2. Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin which released direct-to-video in 1997. Pooh's Grand Adventure treats audiences to more adventures of one of the most lovable characters in film and literature. In this film directed by Carl Gers, Christopher Robin bids farewell to Pooh and his pals at the Hundred Acre Wood temporarily in order to return to school following his vacation. But a misunderstanding leads Pooh to think that his friend has been sent to a dangerous land known as the Skull, so he sets out on an adventure to rescue him. Pooh's Grand Adventure The Search for Christopher Robin is a charming direct-to-video film and a pretty decent installment within the popular Winnie the Pooh franchise. It was praised for its character development, animation resembling the 1977 film and its songs, which back in the 1990s established it as the favorite movie of many, many toddlers around the world. Number 1. The Lion King, One and a Half, which released direct-to-video in 2004. Rounding out this list is The Lion King, One and a Half, the 2004 direct-to-video film that wrapped up the Lion King trilogy. This film, by Bradley Raymond, serves as a retelling of the original story, but narrated from the perspective of Timon and Pumbaa, 
two of Disney's most popular sidekicks, who also sees the opportunity to tell the story of how they became friends in the first place. It is based on The Lion King's Timon and Pumbaa, the animated TV show that aired for three seasons, ending its run in 1999. The Lion King 1.5 ranks as one of the best direct-to-video films in Disney history and stands as a sequel that lives up to the original film. Among the most acclaimed features of this production, it is worth noting its unique storyline that appeals to both children and adults, the quality of its animation, and the work of the voice cast, composed of many of the actors who worked on the original film. Well, that's our take on the top 10 Disney direct-to-video movies. We really do hope you are check them out and tell us if you agree or disagree in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.